Hello and welcome to our YouTube channel, Rubel Solutions. Today, in this video, we are going to tell you Chapter 3, Class 8. Class 8 series was going on and uh, Chapter 1 and Chapter 2 ke do parts we have already done. And you can check the playlist of class 8. Now, this is class 8, chapter 3. Chapter 2 was about Photoshop. And we will do the practical soon. Don't worry at all. But right now, we are focusing and delivering you the chapters so that you can read. And if you have the laptop, you can try it on your own. So, this is chapter 3, class 8. More on Photoshop. Okay? CC. Or in this chapter, we will learn about the layers in Photoshop, painting tools in Photoshop, retouching tools, drawing tools, shape tools, navigating tools, image menu, and layer as a smart object. Basically, this chapter is completely practical. But uh, let's discuss the theory also. Then a practical session I will make it soon. In the previous chapter, you have learned the basic concept of Photoshop. Okay? So chapter 2 has the basic concept. And you have used various tools to edit and enhance the look and feel of an image. In this chapter, you will learn about some advanced features and tools of Photoshop now the layers in Photoshop. What are the layers in Photoshop? Photoshop provides you a feature to combine multiple elements to make one file with the help of layers. A layer can be defined as one image stacked on the top of another to form a complete image. When you open a file in Photoshop, the first layer by default is background layer with the white color. Students, I Hindi not convert a lot in Hindi. Many people convert in Hindi. Many people convert Hindi. Many people convert Hindi. Many convert Hindi. Many people Hindi. Many people convert 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 Hindi. Many people Hindi. Many people convert 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 Hindi. अगर कोई चीज नहीं समझ आती है तो कमेंट बॉक्स में आप बता सकते हैं ठीक है दिस लेयर इज लॉक्ड एंड प्रोटेक्टेड जैसे देखो सिंपल सा है क्या लिखा हुआ है दिस लेयर इज लॉक्ड एंड ये लेयर प्रोटेक्ट की गई है अब प्रोटेक्टेड को आप हिंदी में बोलोगे तो आपको थोड़ा टफ लगेगा बट लॉक्ड एंड प्रोटेक्टेड वो वर्ड भी यही लिखा होता है व्हिच मींस यू कैन नॉट चेंज द स्टैकिंग ऑर्डर ब्लेंडिंग मोड और ओपेसिटी ऑफ दिस लेयर मतलब अगर हम किसी लेयर को लॉक कर देते हैं या प्रोटेक्ट कर देते हैं तो कोई भी उसको चेंज नहीं कर पाएगा ठीक है हाउएवर यू कैन कन्वर्ट दिस लेयर इनटू रेगुलर लेयर बाय डबल क्लिकिंग ऑन द लॉक आइकन एंड देन मेक चेंजेस इन इट इन फोटोशॉप यू कैन वर्क ऑन ईच लेयर इंडिपेंडेंटली एंड क्रिएट द डिजायर्ड इफेक्ट यू कैन आल्सो चेंज द स्टैकिंग ऑर्डर एंड कैन लिंक द लेयर टू वर्क ऑन देम साइमल्टेनियसली when working with an image, it is advisable to use a new layer above it to apply filters or for retouching tools. If you are unhappy with the effect, you can simply delete the layer without making any change in the original image. All the layers are visible in Layers panel. Creating a new layer. In order to create a new layer, In order to create a new layer, perform the following step. Step 1. Click on the layer menu from the application bar. A drop down menu appears. Step 2. Select the new options from the drop down menu. A sub menu appears. Step 3. Select the layer option from the sub menu. Step 4. The new layer dialog box appears. 
Type a name for the layer in the name box and click on the OK button. The new layer will appear above the background layer in the layers panel. By default, they are named as layer 1, layer 2 and so on. You can see in the image and I will show you soon in the practical also. Layer panel allows you to change the visibility of the layer to on and off by clicking on the eye icon next to the layer name. If you see the eye icon, it means the layer visibility is on. Clicking on the eye again will make the layer invisible. Rename a layer by double clicking on the layer name. Change the order of the layers by clicking and dragging the layer up down to the new position in the layers panel. Create a new layer by clicking on the create a new layer button at the bottom of layers panel. Make a duplicate layer by right clicking on the layer name and selecting the duplicate layer option. The duplicate layer dialog box appears. Type the name of new layer. By default, it is the name of copied layer with the copy attached to the name of layer. Add a style to a layer by clicking on the add a layer style button. Filters layer on the basis of pixel layer adjustment layer, type layers, shape layers and smart objects. Delete a layer by clicking on the delete layer button. Create a new fill or adjustment layer by clicking on the create new fill or adjustment layer button. Create a layer group by combining multiple layers. Now comes the painting tools in Photoshop. In the previous chapter, you have learned about various painting tools. Let's learn about some other painting tools such as eyedropper tool, 3D material eyedropper tool, color sample tool and ruler tool. Eyedropper tool. Eyedropper lets you to change the foreground or background colors by lifting them from the image. It helps when you want to use an existing color in the image from another element. To use the eyedropper tools, follow these steps. Open the image in Photoshop from which you want to take color. Select the eyedropper tool from the tools panel or press the I key from the keyboard. Click on the color that you want to use from your image. The selected color becomes your new foreground or background color. 3D Material Eyedropper Tool 3D Material Eyedropper Tool works like Eyedropper Tool. The only difference is that Eyedropper Tool lifts colors from 2D images and 3D Material Eyedropper Tool lifts material, pattern, texture from 3D model. The image shows two 3D as cube and a cone. The cube has the texture. You want to copy the same texture into cone. Follow these steps to do so. Select the 3D material eyedropper tool from the tools panel. Check that cube layer is selected. Then move the 3D material eyedropper tool pointer and click on the cube to lift the texture. Select the cone layer and click on the cone to fill the copied texture. The selected texture will be applied on the object. Next is color sampler tool. Color sampler tools like eyedropper tool with a target. Let's complete this topic in the next video. This is the part 1 of class 8 chapter 3. Because the video will be very long and it's already 10 minutes. I will continue from here just in 2 minutes. Let's save this video and uh, last but not the least, do like, comment, share and subscribe to our YouTube channel that is Rubel Solutions. See you in the next part.